Carol for New Generation uh, by Jaynaya Jaynaya Renee. It's actually very simple, yet I'm butchering it. Okay. So, um, it's divided into, um, well, part one provides basic background information. So, and part two, which is the bulk of the book, um, is devoted to the interpretation of the individual cards that covers the major and minor. Um, its emphasis is on card interpretation because inter interpretation is likely the main thing young adults need to know in order to get up and running. So, with that, um, this is this can be um, with that it can be um, geared towards um, teens um, or preteens who are introduced to tarot at a young age and um, this is a book that can help them get started. Um, so, uh, just reading re this. Um, you don't need to call a psychic hotline or get an automated online reading to find out what the tarot has to say about your life. With practice, you can read the tarot cards yourself and have fun reading for your friends. So that is um, a sentence I can move you towards teen, like young adults. Um, in part two, um, she uses three different um, decks. Um, Legend, the Arthurian Tarot, World Spirit Tarot, and Universal Tarot. Um, the, these decks are built around special themes, so their pictures don't always match the images that she describes as um, typical or commonly used. Um, the book is um, primarily written with the um, Raider White Smith deck in mind um, because its images are most frequently used in reprodu reproductions, imitations, and spin offs. Um, and she does make the statement that um, there is much argument regarding basic concepts, and it is interesting to see how difficult illustrations different illustrations compare. So, um, part one um, does have a little history of tarot. Um, let's talk about contemporary car contemporary cards, um, caring for your cards. Um, So, um, she just mentioned reversed cards. Um, some people don't talk about reversed cards because um, the readers don't prefer to use them, and she does mention that. Um, uh, she does, um, you will find that she uses um, I, like, personal pronouns, um, reading, like, for the past, like, four years, reading textbooks and, like, um, analyzing them <laughs> at university, using personal pronouns is, like, a no-no and, um, can get in the way, um, because it adds into the bias of what the author is writing. Um, and, like, within that paragraph on page 43, so, here, um, she says that, uh, she finds some annoying, um, and they can 
and they seem to come up more than um, upright cards do. Uh, they come up frequently in reading, readings for young people. Um, she believes this is because teens and young adults are still starting out in life and um, haven't had a chance to develop all of their potentials. So yeah. Um, talks about positive and negative cards. Yes, no answers, timing of events. Um, sample readings. Other uses for the tarot. Help with your homework. So, this is um, more directed to towards a young younger audience. Like it is a good um, it can be a good start um, starting point. Okay, so just gonna show. And um, basic um, way she does for the cards, talks about the card, and does these like subcategories. So for the emperor, authority, blessing, father figures, intellect, parenting issues, responsibility, success, thoughts on patriarchy. patriarchy. Um, the lovers. Um, Again, the description, choices, love, partnerships, self-development, sexuality, special technique for reading. Um, so it kind of goes on, like it goes on like that for the major. Uh, chapter 7, Wands, and it continues on like for that for the same way. Um, chapter 8 is Cups. Uh, nine swords, ten pentacles. Chapter eleven is the core card, so it um separates the core card core cards from um the rest of the minor. To me, that's a little annoying to separate the core cards, but I do see the point of um doing that. So. There is Appendix A for significant cards. Um, appendix B is use of color. And C, um, reading for, for advice. Um, uh, she, the author holds a BA in anthropology and has studied tarot for more than 25 years, a scholar on diverse subjects like folklore, mythology, ancient religions, ritual studies, uh, medical anthropology, material culture, American history, and literature. Um, other book, her other books include Tarot Spells and Tarot, um, Your Everyday Guide. Um, like, this book does have, um, like, its advantages. Like, um, this gives some, like, um, neat perspectives on different categories. Like, um, this is for the moon. Um, like, two of wands, like, choices, lifestyle, um, success, um, Nine of Wands, activity, um, protection. So, sorry. Um, it does have, have its ups. Um, and, like, to me, this book is, um, you can see that uh, um, there is attitude towards 
um, younger people who are being introduced, um, starting or yeah, younger um, people um, coming into tarot. Uh, so I want to say this is um, completely useless. Um, but, um, just depends on how, um, you like your books on tarot. So. Once again, tarot for a new generation. Um, yeah, so, happy readings, guys. <laughs>